Hello, this is KJ Waters. I am here talking to you on a Friday afternoon and I'm excited because I have a pretty relaxing weekend. I don't have a whole lot going on. I'm in my writer's cave, let me show you. I have my laptop and I have an actual screen, which sometimes I forget to look at there, uh, like a monitor and all my boards up. This is, these are giant post-its where I write out all of the scenes that are going to happen um, and I'm working on Killing Time which is my next book. Um, I'm in my basement and so most of this room is a mess with kids stuff. <laughs> so try not, try not to look back there. It's a little messy. Um, but like I said, if I face this way, it doesn't look too bad. I've got a stack of books that I'm going to be reading at some point and my little po giant post-it notes and that kind of thing. But the rest of that I try to put my back to that because it's messy. Anyway, I am excited because I had a very fun meeting with uh, my, as uh, she called me today, writing bunny, <laughs> also known as Suzanne Kelman. She does the podcast with me and this week we published one uh, we recorded in November with Amy Van Sant who is from Authors Cross Promotion. So if you're an author, you totally want to listen to that podcast. And you can find us at blondieandthebrit.com, blondieandbrit.com. And uh, we have tons. We're also on iTunes. Look up us, look us up, Blondie and the Brit, on iTunes. And we can be found on Podbean on the, if you're just on a regular computer. Um, anyway, the interview with her was great. She's hilarious. She's got really funny book titles like um, Slightly Sweaty and Kilty is Charged. Uh, and you just know they're going to be fun and exciting reads. Um, she's also in charge of Authors Cross Promotion. She's not in charge of it. She invented it and she runs it. A service that Suzanne and I have used a lot for promoting books. So if you're an author in any way, shape, or form, you need to check out her site. There's all kinds of tools on there to help you uh, with your promotion, book promotion stuff, growing your newsletter, um, getting readers, all that kind of stuff. So check her out. Check out her podcast. She's funny, funny. Um, and so one of the things Suzanne and I did today, and I, I hope if you are a writer that you find time to get someone that you can bounce ideas off of and plan with. Suzanne has a skill I don't have, and that is planning ahead. <laughs> I'm okay at it, but she's great at it. So one thing she does for me that is very kind and generous is that she helps me plan out my goals for the year. And so one of the things that we talked about was, what am I going to do this year for writing? And I have a lot of things that I'm going to do this year for writing. Um, one of them is Killing Time, which is the third book in the Stealing Time series, and I'm writing it, and it's amazing. I love it. It's been so much fun writing it. I just haven't had that much time. That's my biggest problem. But I'm also working on a short story collection based on my blogs, Blondie in the Water, that will be out soon, like mm, end of March, maybe June, somewhere in there. March, June, April, there's a couple months in between. And I want to do that, plus... Um, I also have a sequel to Blow, which is my short story, and if you haven't read it, um, whoever are the first five people that comment on this video, I will give you Blow for free. That sounds wrong. I will give you my short story Blow for free for the first, what did I say, ten people? Yeah, first ten people. So, or did I say five? I don't know. We'll see. Who's interested? Let me know. Because I'll send you an ebook copy of it, and I would like you to do a review on Amazon, Goodreads, or whatever, but you don't have to. I'd rather you do it. But um, if you're interested in reading that one, that has happened uh, during Hurricane Ivan. And it's not time travel, but it's like storm adventure, uh, disaster. It's like crime suspense. And um, I've got four point nine star out of five on Amazon, something like that. It's done very well. People like it. It's uh, been fun. And so I'm writing the sequel to that. And I'm very excited to get that done. I have uh, the way Blow ends. And if you've read it, you'll know it's it's a very uh, dramatic moment that it ends. And so I pick up from there. I thought it was such a ripe opportunity to add more to the story. So I'm going to have that one out probably, I don't know, maybe in the fall. I'm trying to release the short story collection spring and then do blow two in the fall. And I will have a better title. If anyone has a better title, let me know. 
blow i chose that name because it's like a multi it's a word that has a lot of meaning so blow is like the storm blowing it's also like a punch in the stomach which is kind of how the the uh short story reads is you know things keep happening and it's like a continual punch so it's that like dual meaning um so it's not perverted it's not i swear to you and i've had enough jokes david perlmutter <laughs> about that title but i liked it i thought it was good for her cancer anyway check it out and if you're one of the first 10 to comment here that you want to read blow i will send it to you for free so just the ebook version. That's all I have on it right now. But if you're interested in looking at it, it's on Amazon. It's on Barnes and Noble. It's on Kobo and iTunes and all those other places. So if you want to find it, go to kjwaters.com. I've got all my books up there. You can do read an excerpt from all of them and see what's going on. Um, if you uh, want to join my street team, I'm about to start up some interesting things on my street team. Go to Facebook and search for KJ Water Street Team and you could join up. I'm going to be giving some things away like art copies of these items I've told you about and other prizes. So if you like my writing and you're involved in that, I also I'm going to start asking people uh there's things that I need to name like uh restaurants and um, characters and things like that. So if you want to get involved in helping me uh, come up with those uh, names and ideas, get in my street team. Come on, people. Come check it out. Anyway, thanks for uh, joining me, and I hope you check out the podcast. And if you're not following Suzanne Kelman, what the heck are you doing? You have to follow her. So find her on Facebook, or she's got a website. If you go to blondieandthebrit.com, uh, you can connect to both of her websites and stuff. I can't remember her stuff off the hand, but you can always look her up, Suzanne Kelman on Facebook, um, Suze Kelman on Twitter. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. Hope you have a great weekend. Bye.